Welcome to math for fourth grade. This is for lesson 149, so this should be Friday, and um, hopefully it is for you and you are right on track. Um, so we are going to be looking at um, more geometry, geometric shapes to be specific, and so but we're going to start with some um, review, a little bit of flashcards, and then I will let you take your speed drill um, if you if you're um, parents have that ready for you, and if not, then you can do it at the end of the lesson. Um, but first of all, we're going to start with, um, and it's not gonna be the type of what the, what's right on front, so switch your brains to the different, um, to a different one, and we'll, I'll flip it forward, so. All right, 14 minus four, 10, good job. 14 minus three, 11, 14 minus 2, 12, 14 minus 1, 13, 14 minus 0, 14, 13 minus 9, 4, yeah, okay, making sure, 13 minus 8, 5, okay, switch your brains again, 8 times 6, 48, 4 times 7, 28, 4 times 8, 32, Eight times nine, 72. Switch your brains one more time. Okay, 45 divided by five, nine. 12 divided by three, four. Three divided by 15, 15 divided by three, five. Good job. Nine divided by three, nine. Three, I'm sorry, nine divided by three is three. 36 divided by three, 12. And last one, 35 divided by five, seven. Good job, I hope you got all those. You were um, on top of that. So we are gonna go and I'm gonna let you go ahead and pause it so you can take your speed drill. And then when you come back, we will look at some more Roman numeral and then geometric shapes. All right, I hope you did well on that speed drill, that you are um, taking your time to make sure you're getting them right, but then working quickly to see how many you can get done. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and review some with our Roman numerals. We have XV over here, and what is that? Okay, X is 10 plus five, right, is 15, okay? What about I, I, I? That would be three, good job. What about 1,000, or <laughs> MC, I'm sorry, I almost gave it. So that's 1,000, right? And then C is 100. Do we have anything after it? Nope, so we're just gonna put our zeros, okay? When, they're, when it's like that, we just add our zeros. Here we've got XX, IX. So we've got two Xs, which is 20, and then ix is one before x, which would give us nine. So good job with that. dc, and so that's not mar, or um, uh, not the opposite of marvel, or the other one. It's not the comics, but dc, or the District of Columbia for Washington, but dc as our Roman numerals, this is 500 plus 100, so 600 is the total there. What about CD? It's not your compact disc, but what is that? 100 before 500, which is 400, good job. XL, again, X is in front of the L, and it looks hard to see. Actually, I think they're all kind of hard to see, but. So 10, less than 50, so it would be 40, okay? Very similar to that, and then CL. Okay, this one's just 150, we just add 50 to the 100 there, all right. Very good on that, we're gonna take a look at these charts now, and our geometric figures. And so what I want, we're gonna start with the top and then um, I have to move some stuff there with my stick. Okay, sorry, I am very sore. I told the sixth graders in one of their 
videos that I did earlier today that I started exercising and I am extremely sore from that. So um, I'm moving a little slowly, which is kind of nice that I don't have to move too fast right now. Um, so as a review, we have a raised dot is what? A point, very good, okay? And so then two dots connected by one line is what? That line segment, right? And then a line, does that end at all or does that just keep going? Keeps going in both directions, okay? What about a ray? What can you tell me about a ray? It has a starting point, but no ending point. It just goes on forever. Kind of like if I were to put my hand here and this is the starting point, this will keep going on and on and on that direction, but it won't go this direction because I have a stopping point, okay? Well, the starting, okay? Um, and then we've got, if two lines cross, what do we call those? Intersecting lines. What about lines that never cross, but they run alongside each other? Those are parallel lines, good job. Two lines that have a common, or two rays that have a common end point is known as what? An angle. And then an angle that forms um, a square in it is what? Right angle, okay? And two angles that are the same size or the same degrees, they are called what? Congruent, all right? Very good for those that are, that are remembering from yesterday. And then we've got our perpendicular lines and they intersect and they form right angles, okay? So they have your four right angles in, a, in perpendicular lines, okay? So I'm gonna move this one over here. I'm gonna move this one up, okay? So you can see them all. The circle is a closed curve with no point of intersection, okay? It's just a closed, curve, but it doesn't really intersect, just it's one continuous line, okay? Parallelogram, the parallel, uh, the opposite sides are parallel. So this line is parallel to so this line. These both go up and they are gonna continue in that pattern all the way forever. And these two lines are parallel and they just keep going um, like that, but they're not going to intersect, okay? Square is a rectangle with four equal sides. A rectangle is a parallelogram with four right angles, okay? A rhombus is a parallelogram with equal sides, okay? Um, so those are all equal. And then the triangle is a polygon. That's our mini-sided figure. That's what polygon means. And that has three sides. And so you have triangles of all different sizes and, and um, slightly different shapes. Um, a trapezoid, only two of the sides are parallel. So just these two, but you can either have it where this one's slanted and this one's straight, or this one could be slanted, or they could both be, um, yeah, so this one could be slanted in. Trapezoid can, can have a couple different shapes to it. This is a common one and there's a couple other um, ways to do that. So the simple closed curve does not have a point of intersection and a simple closed curve can look like a circle, but it could also look like, if you remember, I went my magnet. Okay, technical difficulties there, okay. This is a simple closed shape, remember? So it it's, doesn't have a point of intersection and it's closed, but it's also not a particular, um, any one shape in particular. Okay. <coughs> so, the, <clears throat> if there's a point of intersection, then it's not a simple closed curve, okay? So in that very first 
section number one, you're placing a check mark in the blank if the shape is a simply simple closed curve, okay? So you have to look at them and if there's a place where any of those lines come and intersect another line, then it's not a simple closed curve, okay? A polygon is a simple closed curve made up of line segments, so that has sides, okay? So you've got your triangle, your rectangle, your square. Um, it could even be, you see that third shape, the, the one that has um, a, the third shape in your, on, on that section in the yellow is one that, it looks like a rectangle, but it's got this corner kind of cut off. That is still a polygon because even though it cuts off that corner, it's not a rectangle because that corner, so I'm gonna make it a little more obvious, because it's not a rectangle because it doesn't have four equal sides, or four, four sides, um, this would have one, two, three, four, five sides. So this is technically a pentagon <laughs> because that's what a five-sided figure is called. Now, it's not your typical shape for a pentagon, but it is because it's got um, five sides to it, okay? But it just has to have line segments, so that means straight lines. It can't have any of them curved, okay? Uh, the triangle is a polygon with three sides, so it's any three-sided polygon, a three-sided figure. So you've got um, a couple options there with um, triangles. You have one with a right angle. You can have them with equal sides. Um, you can have um, a, you can have one like really, really tall like that. Or uh, there's many ways to draw a three-sided figure, or a triangle, but um, as long as it has three sides, it's a triangle. Um, a quadrilateral, quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides, okay? So your examples of that are a parallelogram, and we... So a parallelogram, square, rectangle, rhombus, and trapezoid. All of those have four sides. That means that they are all quadrilaterals, okay? So they all have their own name, but a quadrilateral is like the broad term, okay? Because quad, if you don't, if you, um, you may know this quad means four, okay? So that's why it is the, Quad means four, tri means three, T-R-I, and then poly means many. And so that's where we get these words um, from. So what you're gonna do, um, you've got in section one, you're putting those check marks um, by underneath the simply closed curve. Um, and so that can include any of the polygons, as long as it's closed and none of the lines intersect or go inside the, um, the object then you're then it is a simple closed curve then you're going to give all the names for these shapes and they give you an example of the square okay so it's first of all it's a simple closed curve so that's really the first one on all of these so you can write all write the first one write that in simple closed curve for all of them but this, the square has a simple closed curve. It's a polygon, because it's got multiple sides, right? It's quadrilateral, because it has four sides. It's a parallelogram, because in our definition, it's, it's a rectangle, which a rectangle is a par parallelogram with four right angles. So this would be a parallelogram with four equal sides and four right angles, okay? So it is a parallelogram. It's also a rhombus, because Rom, um, the because it's equal on all sides. Um, it's a rectangle because we already said that it's a that the definition is a rectangle with four equal sides, and it's a square. Okay, so you see that those are those are all the things that this one is. Now um, the only other one that has almost as many as this is E, 
but they give you all the lines for these. So you will use every single line. So if you're not sure, go back to the top and say, okay, what does it fall under? Okay, is it, is it a simple closed curve? Yes, because we, I already said they all were. Okay, is it a polygon? Okay, ask yourself if it's a polygon. Is it a triangle? Does it have three equal, or not equal, does it have three sides? If it is, if it does, then it's a triangle. If it doesn't, does it have four? Is it a quadrilateral? Okay, and then you go, then you decide which one of these it is, and if it can be multiples like the rectangle, square, parallelogram, rhombus. Okay, so go through those different um, steps to check all of those. Um, so I want you to do all of sections one and two, and then section three is a true and false, so go ahead and do all of that. But for section four, you can pick one of the two to do. In section five, I want you to pick two of them to do, and then you're gonna do all of six for homework, okay? So that is what we have, and um, that's our geometric shapes. And so do your best, and if you have questions, make sure to let your parents know, and we can um, figure out a way to help you if I need to do anything extra. So have a good day, and we'll see you in the next lesson.